Hi, welcome back. Theory of equations. Solving polynomial equations. The question is, find the roots of the polynomial equation x squared plus 3x minus 9 times x squared plus 3x minus 5 equal to 5. The hint is given to solve a polynomial equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c1 times ax squared plus bx plus c2 times so on and so forth times ax squared plus bx plus cn equal to p where c1, c2, cn, p are real numbers then we can use the substitution ax squared plus bx equal to y that means you can substitute ax plus x squared plus bx with a y and we can solve this one first to find out the roots let's see how it goes so that what is given here is an example x squared plus 3x minus 9 times x squared plus 3x minus 5 equal to 5 which is given now our substitution for this case is x squared plus 3x that is ax squared plus bx should be equal to y so now we substitute that one y minus 9 this whole thing will become y and this whole thing will become y so y minus 9 times minus 5 equal to 5 and now we expand this one y squared 5y 9y 14y negative 9 times 9 45 plus 45 5 will come to this side negative 5 it's a correct equation of y y squared minus 4y plus 40 equal to 0 now we need to find out factors for this one 40 can be 2 times 20 1 times 40 or 10 times 4 so you can use 10 times 4 because 10 plus 4 14 you can get the middle term so therefore the factors are 10 times 4 here 40 uh, negative negative and y times 4 4 10 times y 10 y 4 y plus 10 y 14 y so you get the middle term also so this is the factorized version now we can find the values of y y can be 10 or y can be 4 but y originally was equal to x squared plus 3x therefore x squared plus 3x can be equal to 10 or x squared plus 3x equal to 4. Now we have another two polynomial equations x squared plus 3x minus 10 or x squared plus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. So that means we need to solve these two quadratic equations to find the final roots. Again we can factorize them. This can be 10 times 2 times 5 is 10. So you need to take negative 2 plus positive 5 so that will make the middle term 3x in here uh, 4 times 1 so x the uh, last term is 4 4 times 1 so the best way is to put plus 4 and minus 1 there so x minus 1 times x plus 4 equal to 0 now we can find out the values of x so x should be equal to 2 x should be equal to negative 5 x should be equal to 1, x should be equal to negative 4. That means if you put x equal to 2, this will become 0. So that means 0 times x plus 5 is 0. So that's how you find the roots. So x plus 5 is negative 5. When you put x to negative 5, you get this one. So our solution to this expression, polynomial x equation, x squared plus 3x minus 9 times x squared plus 3x minus 5 equal to 5 is r x equal to 2 minus 5 1 or negative 4 there are four real roots for this polynomial equation thank you